Rover! Wow, it's only been minutes since I sent you the signal. Didn't expect you to arrive so soon. While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. But I didn't... I didn't see anything like the Jingle Beast. Let's stick with the Beiji thing. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the Jingle Beast. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. I'm sure I did hear the bell ringing. So the Jingle Beast is probably hiding in here too. Well, given how big it is, I don't think it could fit inside a cave like this. What do you say? I do smell danger from this cave though. Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie, probably Beiji, is in danger. We need to act fast. Rover, I've always known how strong you are. I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help, but Beiji is in danger, the situation's looking dire, and we need your aid. Could you please help us rescue him? Your help would mean everything to me. Once we find him, we must make him explain everything. I... I'm going with you. My brother's in there. I want to find him as soon as possible. Bei Shi, I understand how much you want to find your brother. But it's really dark inside, and we've got no idea what could be hiding in there. We'll be stretched thin just watching each other's backs. Besides, I have a more important thing for you to do. I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can, let patrollers know what happened today, and request their help. But I don't want to run away from danger anymore! Beishi, as an explorer of the Pioneer Association, I trust you understand. A seasoned explorer knows how to make sound decisions in the moment. And sometimes, choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Yes, I will. Please help him. And please stay safe, you two. No worries. We'll bring him back. This place, it's full of different smells. Plants, beasts, tacit discords, and humans. I'm pretty good at pathfinding. Leave it to me. I bet Bei Ji dropped this. From what Bei Shi described, Bei Ji doesn't sound like someone brave enough to come here alone. But why does he have this bizarre obsession with the Jingle Beast? I guess this is the only way ahead. Let's keep going. is tricky and narrow here. Tacit discords could be hiding. 
Let's be careful as we move on. Looks like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. The rocks just fell and blocked our way. Here, I'll break this rock. Watch out! There's thorns up ahead. Let's jump over them. Once it's on your side. Take this. Rover, see those glowing plants up in the cave? They help us find our way in the dark. Pretty handy, right? But be careful. Our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. So we can't stay too long in the light. Whoa! This guy is completely blocking our way. It's not too difficult to fight against, but it's a total wrecking ball. If we fight it here, it could bring down the entire cave. Oh. And it keeps one nostril open for food scents, even when it's asleep. We can turn that against it and use a scent it hates to repel it. <laughs> yep, that's the Noctiment. Let's put it by the spear back and see what happens. The scent is coming from below. The rocks here look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and glide. Oops, sorry. I always re Hmm, so many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. More thorns? No way! Rover, I'm here with you.
the Noctiment smells near. Let's go and have a look. That's it! The Noctiment we're looking for. Now we can safely de Watch out! More tacit discords! Let's get out of here. Our efforts paid off! I found a shortcut. Let's go this way. It's been a while since I last swam. This feels so good. Wow. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a Where'd you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. Shame these monsters didn't get you yet. Oh well, at least we'll get to claim your sorry corpse later. I... I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof against you. Even if you kill me, it won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Oh, our prey is finally here. Who are you? Run! Run while you can! They're targeting me! Run? Don't even think about it. You think you were smooth? We saw you spying and creeping up on us. We just played dumb to lure you in. And now we gotcha. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Every beast has its own hunting game. Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak to give their prey a false sense of security. Make them assume they're the hunters. What? I haven't been this angry in a while.
Rover, we'll show them no mercy. Since you've chosen to act like beasts, I'll handle you the way beasts do. Surrender your stuff. <laughs> Playtime's over. Disperse. One with the sounds. Crap. Oh no, boss. I heard Wans' tail starts wagging real fast. He's unstoppable in battle. So what? Uh, but his tail's wagging like crazy now. <sighs> I haven't revealed my true strength yet. You're so strong. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can. Or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? <laughs> you startled those things awake. Boss, what do we do now? Well, uh... We're fighting them? We're running, of course! What? Wait! Wait! Boss! Rover! Watch out! Don't you dare lay a claw on him! Swift and resolute, one with the sounds. I sense your weakness. Moment of resonance. Don't worry, I've got this! Friend, you die! Rover, sorry I let you see this side of me. Please keep it a secret between the two of us. I'm alive! Thank you for saving me. Oh, and, uh, sorry, but, uh, who are you? My sister? Peshi? She's been worried about me. Is she doing okay? That's good to hear. Thank you. I didn't expect she would. I'm sorry. Sorry I made you worry too. Yeah, I guess you've already heard some of it from her. Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous explorers until we lost them 
to an accident. We've been struggling to survive since then. I did many part-time jobs to make ends meet, trying to take care of my sister. But Beishi, she said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association and fulfill our parents' unfinished ambitions. She's the last family I have. I was really scared I'd lose her too. I tried to ban her from joining the Pioneer Association. We got into a huge fight. We haven't really talked to each other ever since. But to be honest, when she was accepted to join the association, I was really happy for her. Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her brother, I'm happy she'll get to see a bigger world. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. Yes, I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. It's too dangerous here. Let's get out first. Your sister's been worried about you. Why? Why did this happen? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. This is not what I had planned. Behave! Ling Yang! Rover! Are you alright? Thanks for the tip, young lady. We made it in time to catch them because of you. Ling Yang! Rover! Are you alright? Beishi! Beishi! Beishi, I'm so sorry I made you worry. Though seeing your reunion is truly touching, I still gotta say, this isn't the right place for conversation. Let's head back to the city first. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up with a plan to get rid of it. Yeah, 
I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. And I heard rumors that so I thought. Yes, I wanted to prove my courage. Wanted to make her proud of me. I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. But in the end, I couldn't achieve anything. I failed. Couldn't find the Jingle Beast. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I only knew how to cower in fear. That's all I could do. I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. No, that's not true. At least you didn't choose to work with those bad guys. Succumbing to desire and killing their own kind, these are the deeds of beasts. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts, even sacrificing themselves for someone else or for a greater cause. It only takes a moment for a human to descend into beastliness. But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Beiji, you've already proved your bravery. I'm sure your sister is proud of you too. R really? Yes, I love you, brother. But promise me you won't do anything stupid again. Okay, yes, I promise you. But, um, at least I did find something this time. We now know the so-called Jingle Beast is just a bluff. So, Beishi, you don't need to fear it anymore. But I did hear the bell. Perhaps it was just your imagination. Or maybe it was some tacit discords? No way! I heard it loud and clear! I, I couldn't have mistaken it! Hmm... I guess we still need to help Bei Shi get over the Jingle Beast. Rover, Ling Yang, we'll be going home now. Sorry for the trouble I caused. Sure. Go get some good rest. Don't forget to come see the lion dancing show tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Don't tell me you've forgotten your lion dance request. No, no I didn't. Sorry. Actually, I made that request to further investigate the Jingle Beast. But now, I guess that's no longer necessary. I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. Who knows? You may find the answers in tomorrow's lion dancing show. I see. We'll come watch the show. Yeah, please do come, okay? Rover, I know you still have a lot of questions to ask. And there are things I'd like to discuss with you. Please, follow me. Keep going down this road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, let's just hang out a bit while we're here. May your business boom! Thank you, Lin Yang. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. 
have a happy wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Ling Yang. <laughs> Miss Gamshua's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. Phew! And now we're back. Ling Yang, you're finally here. Master's been looking for you. Oh no, I completely forgot. Rover, could you look around backstage for a bit? See if you can find anything that might help Beishi overcome her fear. I'll be right back. Well, hurry up, Master's getting angry. I'm coming, I'm coming. You got all the props ready? Yes. Silk balls, drumsticks, gongs. What are the dried fish for? To treat our lion dancer, of course. Come on, he's not... Really? Thought he'd... Well... Oh my! How did you get here? I... I want... Really? Because the big lion... Oh... I can... Well... Hello, sir. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't... Miss, can you please let... They're quite busy right now, but I'll let... Oh, thank you, Miss. You got all the... Yes, silk balls. What are the dried fish? To treat our luck. Come on. Really? Well... Rover, I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinzhou. Can't disappoint them. Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away, dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. 
Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill in the... Beiji wanted to kill the jingle beast to help his sister. Indeed, getting rid of the thing she fears could work. But that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way here, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the jingle beast now, but another twinkle beast could appear later. It's not enough to just defeat that one jingle beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our lion dance performance. As the lion dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Beishi. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's lion dance show. the tension in the streams. I'm worried something bad is gonna happen. There you are, Rover! The Academy has noted a concerning rise in tacit field activities. Please use caution when exiting the city. Remember to check your terminal signals and wear the Academy's protective suit correctly. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, I have experiments to run. Take care. It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, but I think it's cute. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. at us again? Ugh, those jerks! Jian the general, Jean C the magistrate, and Jue, Jinjo sentinel. Is there any kind of connection between them? Connection? No idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. A storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. 
The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the Crescent. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years, to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the Blood Red Crescent that foretold destruction. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. until the retroact rain began to fall. Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged, loyal souls fell to blood-soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshu Lin demanded all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshu Lin charged at the Overthrax with all his might, and he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, earning him a notorious reputation in Huanlong. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who will guide us into the future. Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. I'm hearing about all that. Maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true! Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the Magistrate one day, not gonna lie. 
hand you concern, Rover. Madam Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected to be the magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madame Jinshu because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madame Jinsi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. Uh, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? The Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. This flower. It's only a photo, and I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Hmm. We're still in the dark about Fraxida's plans. And the Norfolk Barrens is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now. But if we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower, it's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her. There's still some time before the next session. Here are some books to keep you entertained before that, dear listeners. So, you want to learn more about that battle? They say storytelling inevitably carries some subjective bias, all to enhance the ebb and flow of the narrative but when it comes to the battle beneath the crescent, we typically avoid adding any of our personal commentary, focusing instead on accurately retelling history. But even just telling the story carries a heavy emotional weight. Was Geshu Lin truly an unforgivable sinner? Was General Jian the perfect hero? The sudden onset of the Retroact Reign, the decision of our Sentinel, and the timing behind this series of events. <sighs> I guess it will be up to future generations to figure it all out. <laughs> There's still some time before the next session. So, you want to learn more about that battle. They say storytelling inevitably... But when it comes to... But even just... Was Geshu Lin truly... The sun... <sighs> oh, hello! Shisha, Yang Yang... What brought you here? Hey, Grandma Lin. We're here for some stories today. And here's our new friend. Ta-da! We've got the ultimate badass here. The one who can crush TDs, cook up Echoes, knock Inferno Rider flat, and KO Phalian Beringle with a single punch. The legendary Rover. So you are the famous rover. Oh, 
Youngsters these days are really something. Grandma Lynn, since you're the flower expert, I got a favor to ask. Have you seen flowers like this one before? Hmm. I'm familiar with most of the flowers local to Jinjo, but this one... Oh, it doesn't match anything we have here. I don't think I've seen anything similar. Not even in the plant encyclopedias. Oh no. If not even a flower expert like you can recognize it, who else could help us? Oh, Chisha, I'm far from an expert. We've got a plant-type resonator here in Jinjo, remember? She knows the plants much better than me. Oh, are you talking about that young lady? I always see her helping out at your store. Yes, she has been a great help. She knows a lot about everything plant-related. And she is such a sweet child. Her smiles always make me happy. She reminds me of the lovely star flowers. I'd call out to her, little star flower, it's dinner time. And she'd always answer with her brightest smile. Oh, how I wish she was my granddaughter. She's probably up in the back mountain doing some field research. I said I wanted a field in the back mountain to plant my flowers, and she offered to help right away. That's where she is now, checking it out. Go in that direction, and soon you'll see a waterfall. Walk right through the waterfall, then you'll reach the back mountain. Thank you so much, Grandma Lynn. Oh, anytime, dearie. Don't forget to visit my Penjing shop. I'll have treats ready for you. There is still some time before... to the back mountain. Once we cross the waterfall, we'll reach Mount Pingting. <gasps> the flowers seem to be showing us the way. Let's follow it. of flowers. <laughs> That's impressive. I should have introduced myself first. I know it's a polite thing to do in Huanlong. It is. It is a delight to make your acquaintance. 
I am Verena. <laughs> My apologies. I used to live in the New Federation, so I'm not very familiar with the language here. Hi, Verena. I'm Chisha. This is Yang Yang, and he's Rover. Grandma Lin told us we should come find you. <laughs> oh, right. Grandma Lin talked about you. I left those flowers so she knows how to reach me. What seems to be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with... We're looking for a special flower. Hmm, it's an unusual flower indeed. Pure black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can't rule out the possibility that it's been dyed. When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. It's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's new to the New Federation, and a lot of people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower. It's a single petal flower with a similar stamen length. But the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle, while this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff. I learned a lot from that. Anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature, so I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it, too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So, my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant, created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone. We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now, do I automatically become one of them? Chizya, wait, what did you just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? If this black flower is indeed their symbol, the Black Shore members should immediately notice it on you. But to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower. Given that, if they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see. But how do we get our hands on one? Um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability, if you just need something that looks similar. Come on, Verena, you can do it. No way! That's amazing, seriously. It looks exactly like the flower in that picture. Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's friggin' amazing! Could you do that again? Please! I love it! for a while now. They're scattered all over the place. I'm pretty sure they're not made by Miss Verena. The streams have been disrupted. Someone has been following us. Rover, are you sure you want us to leave? It could be dangerous for you. Okay. 
Trisha and I will wear these black flowers and go look for members of the black shores in the city. Rover, please be careful. Ring us anytime when you need help. Braxidus? What are they doing in a place like this? Damn that woman! Always getting in our way! And what are you doing here? Get lost! I'll have to take them down first. Ah. Need more! Ah. The weird noises persist. They're coming after me. If I climb up to that point, I should be able to... Better hide here for now. Looking for me? Oh, here you are. Such a box full of surprises. So we're playing truth or dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? Sorry, but it's just so much fun to rile you up. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target after all. Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. This Blake Bloom is our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's what it says in the rules, at least. Our plans? Hmm, what is it again? Oh, to recruit as many talents as we can and save the world from its impending doom. So are you in?
Nuh-uh, I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going boom tomorrow, why not have fun while we can? To stop it, nothing for more power. Take down any prey without mercy and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. Well, I mean, I'd love to live that way. But alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits and we'll make you the most special seed among them all. My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to blossom into luscious fruits. Then, once the fruit ripens, I'll get to pick it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. You're just like what civilization simulation sand table Tethys has told us. I can feel such explosive potential within you. One day, you'll surely bear the most beautiful fruit imaginable. No need to be so on edge. I won't do anything strange to you, I think. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. I got rid of all types of pests that tried to get in your way. Ew, don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games, but if they even think of laying their dirty fingers on you, huh, you're mine, and I don't like sharing. Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Whoa, don't tell me you haven't noticed. Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden? You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Well, I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Nothing in particular. The way you look at me, though, it's almost as if... No, forget about it. But I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. I can feel something oddly familiar about you. My name is Camellia. Try not to let me catch you so easily next time. And she's gone. Huh. That was fast. Rover, what took you so long to answer? Did something happen? Is that a friend or foe? Are you hurt? Shores. Did she tell you anything? Phew. At least you're safe. Shizia noticed a guy acting suspicious. He thinks she's keeping an eye on him. Sure. We are in the shopping district. See you then.
you are. We walked the streets, wearing the Blake bloom like you said. Talked to various people, but I didn't hear anything useful. Nothing in particular, just some small talk. Hey, aren't you the girl from earlier? Yeah, you're so pretty. Can I take another selfie with you? The one we did earlier looked a bit blurry. Please stop teasing me. Shizia did say she found someone suspicious. Look, it's him. Rover, perfect timing. This guy's been sniffing around here for a while now. He keeps trying to talk to the elderly and minors. I've been keeping an eye on him. And I saw a little girl with him. She kept turning her head and looking around, but now she's nowhere to be found. This is super fishy. Hey, I'm Patrol Leticia. Sir, business license, please. But business license? Uh-oh. I'm Alto, just a humble information broker. I've been traveling around, helping people out in my own small way. I see. So no license. I bet you don't have a fixed business location either, huh? Business location? Why would I need that? Hmm. Now show me your organizational accreditation, please. Well, I'm an honest broker of information. Always open to negotiations at the right price. I'm the all-time Intel champ, with more bestseller certificates than I can count. No license? No clear business plan? You're running an illegal business. Then... Um... Who's your supervisor? You should at least have their ID number. M my supervisor? Oh, <laughs> right. She's like a super big deal. She's an ancient being, born with this planet we're living on. She's the will of the star, the reverberation of everything in this world. So do you even have a supervisor or not? What? <laughs> Come on, I already told you about her. Why won't you believe me? Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I know what's going on. Now, sir, you're coming with me to the patroller station. Oh, come on, please. I didn't do anything illegal. I was just looking for someone. A little girl. Um, about this tall? She's the kind of stand out in any crowd. You really think I'm gonna buy that? Oh, you know, you saw her earlier. It's that girl. Yeah, exactly. Wait, how do you know? to run like that. Controller, she's the girl I've been looking for. Hello, little one. Is your name Encore? Do you know this person? Yes, Encore knows him. Uncle Alto sells stuff without a license. He listens in on people for commercial secrets, and he loves pulling pranks on us kids. But he's not a bad guy, really. 
Encore. Remember our little chat? What did I say about calling me uncle in public again? I am not that old. Miss Farina? Where did you meet this girl? I ran into her near a cliff on my way home. She was eating a poisonous mushroom. I managed to make her the antidote in time. Imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there. Don't worry. Encores have plenty of that mushroom already. But why did you go to such a dangerous place alone, little Encore? We got your back, little one. No worries. Just tell us what you know. Because... Because Encore must keep an eye on him. <laughs> uh, kids could have such wild imagination sometimes. <laughs> hey, Alto! Didn't you just send Encore there? Wait, why are they all giving you the side eye? Encore! Some things are better left unspoken, you know. Since the situation has come to this, I've got no choice but to tell you. Indeed! We're here for business, and it's a crucial one. You want to know what it is? Let's go, Encore! Hey! Alto! Wait for me! See ya! We still have a world to save! <coughs> Wait! <coughs> we can't let him get away! I I'll go search in the residential area. Is he mocking us? I'll go down that way towards the patrol station. I know the streets here like the back of my hand. world around me. Here's another split in the road. I'll go look for him in the square. I'll leave the other side to you. between each mist figure is shrinking. Over there. At the end of that alley.
your blade. Huh. Now you're here. Well, we weren't really running from you. We just wanted to make sure you were alone. Be good, please. Encore and Uncle Alto won't do anything bad to you. That's enough, Encore. You're freaking our precious client out. Encore just did as Alto said. Encore is usually a good girl. Don't be scared, Rover. We just have a few questions for you. Was it your idea to have those two ladies wear those counterfeit Blake blooms and attract our attention? I must admit, they looked quite convincing. If I was an outsider, I might mistake them for the real deal. So, you worked with a plant type resonator. Interesting. A plant type resonator. We happen to know someone like that too, don't we? Yeah, there are more than one of them out there. Not a big deal. So please, tell us, what do you want from a Black Shores? Why? Huh. What if I told you? We have the information you want the most. Like what they say here in Huanglong. The straight hook is for willing fish to bite. 
Your efforts finally caught our attention. Surprise! The people you've been looking for are right in front of you. Now, how's that for a piece of intel? I'll let you have it, free of charge. Oh, not that disappointed look. Are we not what you had in mind? I know you must have a ton of questions for me, but one moment, please. As you already know, I'm an information broker. That means I make deals instead of passing out freebies. You want information from me? You gotta give me something in return. <laughs> Relax, Rover. We just wanna make a deal with you. We want you to come with us to an abandoned Court of Savante facility to help us recover a resonance beacon. In turn, I'll tell you everything we know so far. Our business is centered around customer satisfaction and built on integrity. Otherwise, we wouldn't qualify as consultants of the Black Shores. And since you're a first time customer, I'm pleased to offer you an additional gift. Here, have this. This should prove we're serious, since you already know what it represents. And if you still have doubts about us, just show it to that plant savvy young miss. She'll be able to tell. Finally, as a last resort. Encore! Do your cute face! Quick! This poor child, pleading to you like that. How could anyone have the heart to decline? The deal settled then. We'll be waiting for you near this beacon in Whining Ix's mire. And don't forget to come alone, okay? Rover, did you find them? What? Seriously? No way. As I expected, this flower is indeed a type of remnant plant. And it contains a very unique kind of remnant energy. The concentration is much higher than usual, too. No way. Are they really from the Black Shores? <laughs> Not as mysterious as people make them out to be. Well, at least they're good at running. I'll give them that. What did they tell you? Place. I only heard it's an abandoned research institution. There is nothing special about it. Because of the dangerous weather conditions and whining Ix's mire, it's been ages since anyone went there. Don't worry, Yang Yang. We all know how strong our rover is. Okay, rover, I'll tell the Academy about this, and they'll help transmit your data from the Resonance Nexus. Then, that beacon in the whining Ix's mire should be unlocked for you. There have been frequent tacit field activities recently. If you're going there alone, please be careful. Just ring us whenever you need a hand. We'll come rushing.
No hesitation. You can use it to the full.
swift and resolute. Moment of resonance. Trust you can use it to the full. It's time. Swift and resolute.
can't believe it. Save me, boss. Rover. I've sent the coordinates of that CSC research facility to your terminal. Now that we're in the same boat, let me fill you in on what we're getting into before we dive in. The Corda Sabante is a mysterious scientific research organization. They are best known for their research in automata mechanics. But what really put them on the map isn't that. It's all the bizarre experiments they did. What's with the psychedelic black light coming from Morning Ix's mire? And is that freaky ring in the waters really the lake monster's doing? One day, a daring young scientist soared into the sky and never returned. Could this be the beginning of another diabolical plot? Alto, why are you telling bedtime stories now? Is it time to sleep already? Ahem, my bad. Old habits die hard. But the big part is coming right up. One day, out of the blue, every single Corte Savante member vanished. The last words from that mysterious researcher, the Corte Savante Committee's chairman, was this. Ahem, you want my research? You can have it! I left everything I gathered in the Corte Savante's labs. Now, you'll just have to find it. What do you think, Rover? Aren't you curious? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you'd be into this like I am. But stories aside, we do have an important mission on our hands. I suppose the Magistrate of Jinjo has already told you what we do? We've set up resonance beacons worldwide to monitor the lament collecting data in real time. This is how we predict when the next lament is happening. As the saying goes, one miss is as good as a mile. Every single one of those resonance beacons is crucial. After the Corte Savante researchers disappeared, all of our resonance beacons near their facilities were damaged to varying degrees. Recently, something went wrong with our lament detection system, and we suspected it had something to do with a damaged beacon around the area. That's why we've been sent here, to investigate the case. While our main goal is to retrieve the lost resonance beacons, we also might find some treasures. Alto, even Encore can tell what you're up to. It's called seize the opportunity while I can. <laughs> you're just too young to get it. Come on, let's go. Is my TD detector working? How could 
didn't warn us of so many tacit discords ahead. Because they all just appeared out of nowhere. That's weird. Anyway, let's deal with them, shall we? Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. This is the place. Ugh. Those savants really love their puzzles. Don't. <laughs> no wonder folks never managed to get inside after all these years. Their security's top notch. That's because Alto set off the security alarm, and now the gate's closed. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, we've got to figure out how to open it up again. This is... Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Those crazy savants. They were trying to recreate the Retroact Reign. Never thought they could pull off something like this. Incredible. The Retroact Rain is essentially a form of condensed remnant energy from the Etheric Sea. Various events across space and time from every dimension are recorded in the form of remnant energy. The Retroact Rain conjures illusions of past events for those exposed to it. That rain curtain we saw earlier was probably the result of their experiments. Before the Retroact Rain forms, it goes through three stages. In the first stage, it looks just like any regular rain. And what we're seeing now should be the second stage. Water droplets floating in midair, being absolutely still. I've heard of plenty independent studies on the Retroact Rain. Most of the researchers were driven by their obsessions, while some wanted to relive a particular experience, and others yearned to reunite with their loved ones. But. <laughs> Look at all these devices here. The sheer scale of this research is really something. Really makes one wonder. What on earth were they trying to bring back of such a massive retroact rain? The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. Hooray! Willie's better away! Oh, 
Cosmos? Cloud reporting in! Cosmos soar nothing. Cloudy soar no What? Cosmos? Reporting in! Cosmos. The experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The artificial retroactive rain project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the whining Aix's mire at some point. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the artificial retroact rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The artificial controllable tacit field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan. That Fraxidus Overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to build this place without him. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much. Well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lab's location is a bit too remote for me. But I'm okay with it, as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah. Where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, we are embarking on a monumental endeavor with the power to redefine humanity's future. This time, we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all of humanity to behold. Reporting in! Cloudy soar n- What?
subject A03828. It has yet to assume a concrete form or exhibit vocalization behavior. In most cases, it remains motionless. However, we notice some behavioral discrepancies from our initial expectations, and further observation and research would be necessary. It's merely a replica, after all. It's far from the true form of those gods. By the way, things have been mysteriously disappearing lately. Any idea? You noticed it too. Thought I was imagining things. And there's weird noises at the lab late at night. I suspect it is something to do with subject A038. Lately, its frequencies have always displayed signs of hunger. But it's been under strict surveillance. That couldn't possibly be A038, right? I'll go check the security cameras once more. Let's increase its rations. We can't afford to let it go hungry. After all, it's our last hope now.
remnants of the past.
Now, this is the last room. Alto, Volvo! Encore spotted something. Misery follows. All is fair. Swift and resolute. It's getting closer. These will be my final words. <laughs> if only I had more. I thought my enemies were misconceptions, waning passion, and my own ignorance. Only in the end did I realize, time is my ultimate foe. I became blindsided by my fear of death and insatiable thirst for truth, eventually derailing our research. It was too late when I finally came back to my senses. We. We had already walked into that false gate. Now, I'm leaving my last realization behind. They are our past, but they are also our future. Had I realized it sooner, there might have been a chance to get things back on track. The future being hailing from our past. Please save us once again. Please keep pushing forward until you reach the real gate that can change the world. Rover, about this person. Great. Now that power has been restored, the elevator should work. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go. <sighs> An 
unexpected discovery. Damn, those savants never run out of new surprises for us. The signal's coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? Looks like peace isn't an option. Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. Alto, we doing it like we usually do? Of course. <laughs> then this big guy is Encores to Tackle! Cosmos! Cloudy! Attack! Let me figure out its weakness. See? It's cobbled together from these metal parts. We should target its joints. Use the fallen parts to counter its attacks and destroy its unstable structure. All is fair in war. War scares no one. Job done! <laughs> Anka is strong! Told ya! But why did they 
I keep that big guy here? According to our findings earlier, researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction of the Corda Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. But later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, they believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire, which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead. To get their desired results faster, they started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger, devouring everything in its path. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect the Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually got lured into the monster's frequencies of hunger and willingly walked into its maw. The monster devoured them, but not with its teeth. Their own delusions and fear were their undoing in the end. <laughs> what a crazy bunch. So, Rover, now it's time for me to fulfill my promise. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? I'm just an insignificant consultant at the Black Shores, so I don't know that much about all its hidden secrets. But I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you will make this trip worth your effort. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time, you woke up at the Black Shores. Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Thernodians and prevent the Lament Crisis. Yep! Onkar can prove it! The Thrinodian is a bad, bad guy! And Onkar and Alto are the heroes of justice! So we're gonna stop the bad guys! I understand. Trust isn't something you could afford to give out that easily. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also holds the key to our headquarters. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Phew! Anyway, mission accomplished! We've got the Resonance Beacon secured, plus a sweet bonus of Corda Savante's big secrets. Glad I got you on board, Rover. Looking forward to our future collaborations. Oops, almost forgot. Gotta check the Resonance Beacon again, just in case. Wait, this is... No, it can't be.
calm. One with sounds. Last chance. Verity shines. Ha! Appear of acceptable damage. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Strike in the shadows. One with the sounds. The hour is upon us. Keep it together. Unleash the fans. Administering first aid. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. One will keep it together. Keep it together. Come take a look at our official merch. Welcome to the Pioneer Association store. Let me help you re- What would you like today? Great choice. I love that too.
sense your weakness. One with the sounds. The hour is upon us. No hesitation. Remnants of the past. Swift and resolute. Rejuvenating snow. Swift and resolute. Moment of resonance.
Greetings! She found pharmacy here. Hello. What type of medicine are you looking for today? I might be able to make it taste good. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. She found pharmacy here. Hello. What type of medicine are you looking for today? I might be able to make it taste good. Be sure to pay close attention. around me. I can hear it clearer now.
Greetings. She Fang Pharmacy here. Hello. What type of medicine are you looking for today? I might be able... Greetings. She Fang Pharmacy... Hello. What type of medicine are you looking for today? I might be able to make it taste good. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication. She found pharmacy here. Hello? What type of medicine are you looking for today? I might be able to make it. Be sure to pay close attention. Time flies by. Anything can change. Yet, the sonnets... Remember to stop and look around as you explore. Maybe... There are ancient relics on those faraway mountains. Every small discovery adds up to the bigger picture. Today's findings can lead us to uncover age-old mysteries about human civilization.
sounds. I sense your weakness. Remnants of the past. The hour is upon us. Target confirmed. Swift and resolute. <laughs> One with the sounds.
Encore heard lightning. When there's lightning, it's gonna rain. And when it's gonna rain, Encore should bring an umbrella. Oh, no, 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 no. Alto said when it rains like this, we hide. This is... It's the real Retroact Rain. Rover, Jinjo. Jinjo is under attack. It's a TD outbreak. 